guys, 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 it's the bad wolf. All right, so title of this particular video is, okay, so I got the explanatory statement. Now what do I do? So you've bought in my explanatory statement, um, either the basic for 50 or the master for 100 um, and or somebody else's. It doesn't have to be mine or maybe you even just made your own. What should you do next? Okay. Well, I don't know how you wrote yours, so I can't really comment on that or the next person's. But if it's mine, this is for those people who have gotten it and didn't know what to do with it. Um, I'm going to go through this pretty well, step by step. Okay. So even though I have this inf most of this information typed up inside explanatory statements, so don't freak out. Um, you don't have to watch this video to not know. This is most of it's common sense. But I'm just going to give it a, a good breakdown. So you bought the video and uh or video lord uh you bought the file and so this video is a companion with that but anyway you'll you'll get where i'm going with it so you should read through the explanatory statement and get familiar with all either eight or 19 pages of it you're just going to read through first thing you want to do if you have mine is read the top part it's all in yellow and you're going to delete that once you're done reading it okay you're now going to go in, you can put the, the name and the address of the agency that you want, that you're close to, somewhere close to the one in, what is it, like Pennsylvania, if there's one like Texas, one somewhere else, wherever. Um, you can, you can put it in there. If not, you don't really have to worry about that. But you want to make sure that the attention to CEO, CFO, VP, CEO, whatever, um, that line, attention to, make sure that's in there. That's, you want that to go. As you read through, the first line will probably say, I'm submitting this to correct my previous attempt. Now, some of you guys are first time users, so you're gonna to wanna to delete that first line and put in something like, I want it to be clear that I am applying to be a US national and not a US citizen nor a non-citizen national. Um, per my birthright, I am a state citizen or more so now known as a U.S. national, okay, or United States of America, Republic national, okay, but U.S. national is fine. Um, once you go through, you're going to want to read the section so that you know what's in there and in case they call, which does happen on occasion. Familiarize yourself with all the different sections in there. Understand what it is. Google the information. Look it up, okay? Yes, I wrote it. I'm just a head on a TV screen, kind of like Mad Max. Mad, 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 Max. Um, for those of you who are old enough to know what that is. So I could be wrong. In this case, I'm not. But I want you to know it because you just reading it and kind of going, okay, doesn't help you to become a U.S. national. Oh, yes, I filed some paperwork. I'm a U.S. national now. Yes, that's just rather nice. It's not good enough. Okay, read it. Understand it. So that if you're ever called or harassed by some, you know, low-level functionary on the side of the road who happens to have a gun and red and blue berries and cherries on top of his car, decides he wants to bother you, you're not going to necessarily educate him on everything, but you at least know enough to say, hey, I'm a U.S. national. If you don't know what it is, I need you to get your commanding officer so I can explain it to him. And if you watch some other videos, you'll either have a book with all this information in there for him to read or you hand, him your, your, you, you hand him your card so you can go back and run it and see that he has enough jurisdiction, do not detain, lets you go, as long as you're not committing a crime or hurting a US citizen. If he still wants to be a dick, he might write you a ticket, but you put UCC 1-308 over the top, tell him to have a nice day, take that ticket and put it in the mail within three days so you don't have to pay it. So they know that it's void and you're returning it because it's an offer to contract. Okay. Moving along, so you're going to want to then go through the entire form and remove any place that my name is in there. The only reason why I left my name in there is so that you know where to put your name. Okay, so delete mine, delete the yellow, put your name there just to highlight it. At the far bottom, there's going to be like a spot where the notary puts their information again. Once again, that's in yellow. You put your state in there. Okay, and then there's a spot where you're going to, you're going to actually end up signing yours twice. Underneath the Constitution in there, it's going to be a spot where you sign because that is your declaration of status as being a U.S. national. Then below, you're going to have the notary put in their information. 
then in front of the notary, you're going to sign the bottom. So don't sign the bottom until you're in front of a notary. Get it notarized. That's basically it. Okay. Now, I always send support files. Now, you don't have to use these files, but they support all the information that's within that file already. Because So the explanatory statement talks about these things, but these are actual things that other people have used or gotten back from the Department of State, you know, and or IRS or whatever else that support these in detail. You know, most of it from them or most of it from, you know, your state, actual legal definitions. I mean, I could encompass it all in one, you know, and it, you could do that too. If you want to do that, that's fine. Um, and, but having the actual proof, especially like the file where they're talking with the, the agency where it says, you know, I have the right to, you know, declare this or blah, blah, blah. It's their own department correspondence with somebody else that you're putting in there that now they can't argue with it. So that's why all those support files are there. You wanna take those support files with your explanatory statement, put them together, get it notarized, 